Hey guys, it's Liv. Today's video is going to be a what's in my travel makeup and toiletry bag because I always find these super duper interesting to see the products that make the cut for when people go overseas. I'm filming mine today, the day before I go to Melbourne because I am just packing today and I thought that I would film this for you guys but this video will be going up while I am in Melbourne and I will be vlogging while I'm there. I decided that I'm going to vlog my Melbourne experience and then upload that in however many vlogs it is, either one or two and then once I get back from Melbourne I will be getting into either weekly or bi-weekly vlogging. I just had such a great time doing Vlogmas and you guys were so interactive and it was absolutely amazing so I decided why not keep the vlog train going. I've taken two days off or three days off of vlogging since Vlogmas finished and then I'm going to be vlogging all through Melbourne and hopefully throughout the rest of 2018 which is going to be so exciting. If you have any other video requests, I'm going to try and do like a weekly vlog every week and then a beauty video every week or other week. I'm going to make it work somehow. I don't know yet. I still have to think about it. But if you have any requests for beauty or lifestyle or techie videos or whatever that you want to see, please let me know because I will get to those once I'm back from Melbourne. That was just a quick update because I haven't actually done like a video like this since before Vlogmas, which is really crazy. So anyway, let's get right into it. Let's start with the toiletries because I feel like those are less interesting than the makeup products. So my toiletry bag and my um, makeup bag are both from Benefit, but that is just a coincidence, a pure coincidence, but this is the one that I've got. It just says Son of a Beach. Ha ha. I just chose this because this is really big and this has all of my toiletries in. Although my one tip to you guys is try and fit as much as you can into your significant other's bag. That is my life tip to you. I'm filming this before, well this video is going up after we leave so Corby won't even know but I'm going to try and stuff as much of my stuff in there as I can to lighten my bags because Lord knows I'm going to need the space. Probably not on the way there but on the way back I'm definitely going to need the space but yeah I can fit everything into this bag. My other tip to you guys is if you're taking full size products talk to your friends that you're going with or your partner or if you're going by yourself I guess you'll just have to make it work but if you're going with other people communicate if you're going to be sharing an airbnb or anything like that communicate and say okay you bring the shampoo and conditioner and i'll bring the body washes and you bring whatever other product in our case we're staying in an airbnb so i'm bringing the shampoo and conditioner and my friend is bringing the body wash so that ends up working out really well because it saves us both on space that we don't both bring shampoo and we don't both bring body wash if that makes sense so anyway that being said i don't actually mean body wash i mean feminine wash but i was trying to elude and not say that because people find that gross but you know your Fifi is a different pH and it needs its own wash. Anyway, moving on. The stuff that I'm bringing with me is a Lush shower gel. And I always bring a Lush shower gel or a shower cream because I then associate that smell with that holiday location. Like in Thailand, we took Yummy Mummy. And whenever I smell Yummy Mummy, I don't have one at the moment. Whenever I get one around Mother's Day, I always remember our Thailand trip. Same thing with when we went to LA. I don't know which one it was in LA. I think it might have been Yuzu and Coco. But I don't think that's been discontinued. But the point is, if you like associate a scent with a place that you've gone, I feel like it just makes it all that more meaningful when you smell it again. I'm taking Santa's Christmas, which smells like cola bottles. And this one is a shower cream, so it's really nice and moisturizing, which will probably help because knowing my luck, I'm going to get sunburned. Ah, speaking of sunburn, I haven't got any sunscreen. Note to self, take sunscreen. Now, I'm that crazy person that takes full-size products away with me, but most of my full-size products are either lightweight or they're half empty. Um, but I just hate squeezing products into little bottles because it's just a waste. And yeah, so I'm taking these two skincare products. This is all I'm taking for in the shower skincare. I've got the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel and the Dermalogica Daily, Mic Daily Microfoliant. So this one is to cleanse the skin, remove makeup, all that kind of jazz. And then the Dermalogica Microfoliant is a powder exfoliant, which means it's really lightweight. And this is actually just my hero exfoliant. So taking those two. For shampoo and conditioner, like I said, I got allocated shampoo. So they are taking up heaps of room, but we're going to have more than enough conditioner for the week that we're there for everybody. Everybody who's going can just use the same shampoo and conditioner. So this is one that I got sent during Vlogmas. And this is a cure. And it is the Ultra Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are all natural, really, really like good for the environment, vegan, sulfate free, paraben free, cruelty free. I really really love these and it smells like fake cherry which you're either going to love or you're going to hate but I personally love it. So yeah, I've been really really enjoying these so I'm taking them. I don't think I have to say this but this toiletry bag is going in my checked luggage because everything is way over 100 mils just in case you were wondering. Next I've got my deodorant and I use the Rexona Clinical Protection Sh well, I was going to say shower clean. No, I don't have that one at the moment. I have summer strength. This isn't that good for you because it's got aluminium in it. 
uh, yeah, but it stops me from smelling and it stops me from being sweaty. If you guys know of a good natural deodorant, please let me know because I know this isn't good for your skin, so please help me. Obviously got my toothbrush, I just have an Oral-B electric toothbrush with the flossing head. Actually, I'm not going to let that focus in because there might be like spit and goobers in there, so no. Corpo is going to be bringing the toothpaste because that's his job, so I'm going to be taking my Skin Sonic with me because I really love this bad boy. And because I'm not taking a proper makeup remover, like I'm not taking a micellar water because it'll leak, I'm probably actually going to buy one while I'm over there, let's be real, when I go to Sephora I'll probably get like talked into buying like a $50 micellar water, so I'm not taking one with me, but this guy works so well to remove makeup, so I'm going to be using this with the special cleansing gel together to remove all my makeup. And then of course I have my Drunk Elephant skincare, oh shivers, <laughs> I have my Drunk Elephant skincare products, so I've got my brand new sizes I've upgraded you guys from the baby sizes I've got the B Hydra intensive hydration gel and I've also got the uh, traditional virgin marula luxury facial oil which I freaking love these two I'm still using minis for both of these but I've got the C firma day serum and the TLC night serum I'm probably gonna buy the full sizes for these while we're in Australia uh, the price isn't that different but I've just been trying to save for Australia so I'm probably gonna have to repurchase these but I seriously love all of the Drunk Elephant products that I've tried. They're actually really like I'm not even, not even kidding. They're actually so amazing. So those are all of the toiletries that I'm going to be taking. Like I said, I'm also going to be taking some sunscreen. But I'm going to have to try and fit them into Corpu's bag. Because I can't fit anything else into my toiletries bag. Moving on to my makeup bag. Now, the one thing that I need to tell you guys is that I always, 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 at least on the way to my holiday destination, I put my makeup into my carry-on. Now, on the way back, usually I've got more clothes or more souvenirs or something that I can use to pack my makeup more tightly. But for majority of the time, no matter where I'm going, to or from, I'll put most of my makeup, especially the most expensive makeup, in my carry-on. So I've got two bags to go into my carry-on. I've got my liquid bag and my regular bag of makeup. You guys might not agree, but this is me packing light. I know for a fact I'm going to buy makeup while I'm overseas. That's always one of my priorities this year. I'm trying to not buy as much. But you guys will see when I film my Melbourne haul how much makeup I actually do buy. But yeah, I'm going to go through my liquids first. I never really know what constitutes as a liquid but I've put anything that has a milliliter value into my plastic bag. Um, this used to actually be a coat and cook bag filled with spices from my cupboard, but I needed a plastic bag and we don't have any, so now it's my makeup bag. So if you're wondering why there's a black line, it's because it used to say coat and cook, and I didn't want customs to be like thinking that I was crazy. All right, so let's go through all of these products. These are obviously all of my favorite products at the moment, so this is kind of like a favorites slash what I'm taking overseas with me kind of video. The way that I like to pack my makeup is I pack it by purpose. So I start right from the basics. So I'll put my moisturizer in the moisturizer appropriate bag. Then I put my primer, my foundation, my concealer, or concealers depending on how many I'm taking. And then I work my way from there, starting from like the start of my makeup to the end of my makeup. Speaking of, I just realized that I didn't put my setting spray in. Well, apparently I've lost my setting spray, so I guess I'll just have to buy a new one while I'm in Australia. Um, it would have been the Glow Setter from Glam Glow. I actually do need to buy a full size, so I guess it was just meant to be. Anyway, I usually work from start of face to end of face so that I make sure that I get every single product that I need while I'm away. So the primer that I'm taking is the Too Faced Hangover Primer because this is legit my favourite. It is sticky, it is amazing, it's hydrating, it's everything that I love in a primer, so I'm taking this 100%. Now, because I'm going for New Year's, I need a everyday foundation and a going out foundation. So I'm taking my BB Cream from Skin79. This is the Hot Pink Triple Functions one, um, which actually is probably going to run out while we're away, so I might look and see if I can find like a Korean beauty store while I'm there or just buy a new BB Cream, but I do need this because SPF. And I'm wearing this right now. Hopefully you guys can see it's actually like better coverage than you think. And then for nighttime wear, I'm taking my YSL Touche Eclat Le Tonde foundation because this is actually my favorite and I'm in the shade B10. I actually, no, I probably still am B10 just with a little bit more bronzer because I am actually, this is natural tan. Um, I'm pretty damn tanned at the moment. So this should still work. I just might need to add a little bit more bronzer. I'm taking my Hourglass Lip Treatment in Oil, whatever it's called, Lip Oil. I think it's got a special name, but anyway, the Hourglass Lip Oil to keep my lips moisturized. For concealer, I am taking two, but the liquid one that I'm taking is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 5. This is so a dupe 
for the Naked Skin from Urban Decay and I absolutely love it. I'm taking my Colourpop Supernova shadow because I really really like this and I feel like it just totally glams up any look super easy so I'm taking that just in case I want it. I mean it's pretty small so I've got space may as well. I'm also taking my Revitalish just so that I keep up with this while I'm away. I've been really bad at using it the past couple days like over Christmas and stuff so I definitely need to take it to keep up with it. Got my brow mascara from Benefit, the 24 hour brow setter. I've got my Benefit roller lash mascara and then I've got my favourite lip colour of the moment which is Jeffree Star Christmas Cookie. I'm packaging this up because it's in Mills. I don't know if it counts as liquid makeup but I'm not going to risk it because I don't want anything to be confiscated. Like I said this makeup bag is also going to be going in my carry on. This is just from Benefit and it says Hello Gorgeous. This was a promo that Makeup.co.nz was running when it first launched. You could get one of these bags if you could is something. I just really like it because it's a good size and when you unzip it, it like, I don't know if you can see but it opens up really wide so you can see everything that's in there. So here's the other concealer that I'm taking. I'm taking the Maybelline Master Camo Concealer because I just, I love this stuff. This is so good for the price. You need to check it out if you haven't already. For my powder, I'm taking my current favourite which is the NYX No Filter Powder in the shade Alabaster. I actually might buy a slightly darker shade while we're overseas because as you can see this is a bit light for me. For my bronzer, as per usual, predictably, I'm taking the Hoola Light from Benefit. I've been using this for ages and I see no dent. Like I use this non-stop. And for my highlight, I'm taking the EXO Beauty Radiant Glow Highlighter in the shade Aurora. I actually need to buy Lucent. Maybe I should buy that today. I think they have a Boxing Day sale. And to apply those products, I'm taking this big brush here that I got from L'Oreal. I don't know if I've shown this to you, but it's actually got my name engraved in it. If this wants to focus, it's so cute. Uh, it's just like a tulip powder kind of brush. And then I'm also taking my EXO Beauty Medium Face Brush, which is for bronzer. And my EXO Beauty Sheer Powder Brush, which I like to use for highlighting. I lied guys, it's not everything for the face. I also have my Flawless Finish Sponge from EXO Beauty as well to apply my foundation and concealer with. I obviously have my eyebrow pencil in here. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. Also talking about brows, I do have some tweezers in here just in case I need to pluck my brows. I actually just realised I don't have any fake eyelashes. I got some recently from Makeup.co.nz as a gift. I got a lash glue and a pair of lashes so I might just pack those to use and I can always buy more pairs if I need them. For eyeshadow, I'm keeping it so simple. I'm taking this tiny wee palette from Colourpop. If you guys watched my Vlogmas, if you didn't, I'll leave a link up down below. But if you guys saw my Vlogmas, you would know that I absolutely love this palette. It is the Double Entendre palette. Oh, I said that way French. Double Entendre palette. And yeah, it is so stunning and it's just very neutral. You can do very dark looks, you can do very light, bright looks. Um, you can do everything. And like I said, it's really slim. Again, I know I'm gonna buy makeup while I'm overseas, so I'm not gonna overpack with eyeshadows. I mean, I'm only gonna be doing deep dark makeup probably two times and then natural makeup every other day. So there's no point taking 25,000 eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes. And I do also have my NYX Wonder Pencil just to highlight the waterline because I think that's a really pretty look. And then of course I have some eye brushes. I'm just taking these four. Um, these three here are from the It's My Ray Ray set and then this is an EXO Beauty eyeshadow blender. Uh, I just thought I'd take a few so that I can do any kind of look that I need with the brushes and besides they're really small so I don't mind taking a few. I'm actually going to add in this, this is the Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Powder from NARS and I'm also going to add in this brush here, it's another one from It's My Ray Ray and it's just one to put stuff under the eyes, this is by BH. That is everything that I'm taking with me to Melbourne in terms of my beauty and toiletry type of products. I was going to film like a what I pack video but nobody wants to see me pack like 7 pairs of undies and togs and all that kind of stuff because it's just what people normally take with them overseas. I always do pack light with clothes, I only take one outfit per day because I know 100% that I'm going to be shopping. Usually I actually take less than one outfit per day, normally I only take like three outfits so then I'm forced to shop but this time I thought just in case they have like their shorts are too short or their tops are all cropped and I don't want to buy crops thought I would just have my bases covered. I actually don't have a New Year's dress in mind, so pray for me that I find a pretty one over there. Stay tuned to the vlogs and to my social media to see what I find. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any packing tips or any weird packing quirks that you have, please let me know like how I am literally a packing freak and I enjoy packing a little bit too much. Thanks again for joining me today guys. As always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it tells me that you like it and helps other people find my videos. If I don't see you guys before the new year, which to be honest I probably won't because I can't imagine my Airbnb will have like amazing Wi-Fi. But if I don't see you, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing new year. I will have a new year's resolutions video up 
at some point within January. It might be a little bit late, but let me know if you guys still want to see it. I was thinking of filming a video about that somewhat inspirational kind of thing. But yeah, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!